Hi, creative friends! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ella. So today I will demonstrate how to paint this watercolor house. Let's get started. This is my episode number three of demonstrating how to paint watercolor house.、Um, if you watched my previous、uh, episode before, you will know、uh, the traditional way I will paint、uh, landscape、um, is to paint the、uh, the sky first. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm on purposely leaving some white space to indicate the cloud, and、um, the color I'm using is a mixing of cobalt,、uh, ultramarine, and some purple. The brush I'm using for the tree branch is a、uh, silver black velvet、uh, number four. The brush is、uh, amazing; it can hold lots of water.、Uh, meantime, the pointy part is、uh, very sharp, so I can、uh, easily apply small leaves and branches with some flat, thick、uh, surface and some pointy、um, area. So it's it's very amazing. I strongly recommend you to try it out. Oh yes, if you want to see the、um, supplies I'm using for this tutorial, please check out my description box. Everything will be listed there. The shadow of the wall is a little bit tricky. The best practice is to mixing your color with lots of water and make it super super light.、Um, so it's easier to getting darker, adding more colors, than lift the color up.、Um, so this is actually my second time to paint exactly same painting because the first one I'm adding really too much、um, yellow ochre. So it Looks too dark、um, and it's a little bit dirty, so、um, I did it one more time. So this side of the wall is on the shadow side. That's why I'm adding more colors, make it more darker to indicate the shadow.、Uh, later on, I'm adding more, even more color, more darkness on the left hand side, so the picture look more three dimensional.
now I'm moving on to the roof part it's a little bit detailed um, so I'm adding one wash uh, one light green wash and later on I will add a little bit darker lines to indicate the shadows and some details I'm using a board uh, to stick my water papers on so when I paint a, a line like this one I want it very straight I can turn the direction I uh, I'm convenient to to paint um, but I do need a board to stick paper on because watercolor paper will be very wrinkled uh, if you didn't stick uh, on, a, on the surface which is very straight um, so if you're interested to try it out please check out my description box it will be listed there I'm painting my favorite part by the last, um, which is the rose um, branches and some leaves. It's it's so beautiful. Actually, my client gave me a reference picture which has no rose on the left hand side, but I still decide to add some more. Um, it turns out uh, very beautiful. I really love it. So um, we are almost there. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe my channel if you're new here. Thank you so much. I will have a new video posted every weekend, sometimes Sunday, sometimes Saturday. Um, and I hope you have a great week. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye bye.